dementia researcher with a blog and a rating. In this, the third of my monthly blog series on dementia researcher, I say the word model nine times and meeting centres 24 times in an effort to contextualise my PhD, which I'm sorry involves a lot of acronyms for readers and a lot of meeting centres for listeners. The narrative should hopefully walk us through the community-based intervention I'm evaluating as part of my PhD, the underpinning model and national and international context of it, as well as introducing the social value framework which will be used in the PhD. This post hopefully provides context and background to the research I'm completing and all the jargon that it consumes, and will lead us nicely into next month, which will deep dive into social value, social return on investment, and David Cameron. The Meeting Centre Support Programme, or MCSP for short. The Meeting Centre Support Programme was developed following a community needs assessment in the Netherlands over 25 years ago as part of Professor Rosemary Dros PhD and provides community-based social, emotional and practical support for people living with dementia and their informal carers, people hereafter, to adjust to the changes dementia brings. The programme is underpinned by the adaptation coping model, which assumes positive adjustments are essential for people to achieve a better quality of life and be able to live well in their communities following a diagnosis of dementia, resonating strongly with the concept of social health. These adjustments or changes are conceptualised as adaptive tasks in the original Dutch model. More recently, this model has been translated into the UK context by people with lived experience the adjusting to change model, while maintaining its theoretical origins in the stress appraisal coping model of Lazarus and Falkman and the crisis model of Moose and Two. Meeting Centre, or MC for short. It is common for the terms Meeting Centre Support Programme and Meeting Centres to be used interchangeably. However, these are two very different concepts, well for me anyway. Meeting centres are the places where the meeting centre support programme is delivered, for example a community centre, church or pub, which may not seem a stereotypical place for a health intervention, but it has been done. The idea is that communities can set up meeting centres in a flexible and adaptive way to meet local needs, while adhering to the meeting centre support programme model. To do so, the essential features of a meeting centre booklet has been developed and supported the setting up of meeting centres across the UK. While it is no easy task to replicate a complex social intervention, and every meeting centre will be different, the booklet provides a sort of pyramidation of mechanisms, 11 in total, that are essential in the way meeting centres develop and operate. This work has been a way of drilling down what defines a meeting centre, a sort of criteria for validating the meeting centre support programme model. Meeting this criterion allows organisations to use the Meeting Centre's UK logo and be listed as a Meeting Centre operating as part of the UK Meeting Centre Support Programme. The UK Meeting Centre Support Programme, or UK MCSP. Right, so the UK Meeting Centre Support Programme is sort of a national governing body for meeting centres, except like, unlike many public sector bodies, is meeting its KPIs. It is a national lottery funded project led by the Association for Dementia Studies with the overarching aim to establish new meeting centres in different parts of the UK to work with their communities to support people and families directly affected by dementia. To date the project has provided a community of learning and practice, national reference group, resources and training to support the development of new meeting centres internationally and it has. There are now meeting centres in the far afield of Japan and Singapore and we are rapidly reaching a point of 30 official recognised meeting centres in the UK. I would describe the UK Meeting Centre Support Programme as the epicentre of all things meeting centres, and enabling the model to attain international visibility and momentum. The Worcestershire Meeting Centres Community Support Programme, or WMCSP for short. Lastly, the Novel Worcester's Meeting Centres Community Support Programme, novel because this is the first attempt to strategically scale up the provision of meeting centres across an area. Worcestershire County Council in England announced in January 2020 
£540,000 to support the setting up and running of nine meeting centres across the county. How this translates into actual meeting centres opening is simple, although in reality, of course, it's a complex and messy process. In short, voluntary and community sector organisations can apply for up to £60,000 funding over three years for each meeting centre. Applications are reviewed by a multidisciplinary assessment panel and a decision is made and the applica applicants will be notified of their outcome. If they are successful, Years 1 funding is released. A progress report based on the 11 essential features and finances should be submitted each year, which will be reviewed by the assessment panel and a decision made regarding whether to continue funding. Applications for funding began in January this year, and to date six meeting centres have already opened in the county, which has been beautiful to experience. The scale of this intervention must be appreciated as it is extremely rare that proven effective intervention is scaled up, with most taking 17 years to translate into practice alone. It is hoped this funding will enable Worcestershire to become the first area to offer the meeting centre support programme to all citizens, creating equity of access, building local infrastructure and community resilience, and supporting people to live well across the county. Therefore, only a portion of, of the outcomes will be health-related, but many will support individual, community and societal well-being and development. In this context, a comprehensive evaluation is necessary. Enter Nathan's PhD. My research is concerned with understanding and measuring the social and economic value created and or destroyed by the Worcester Meeting Centre's Community Support Programme using social return on investment which is an outcomes-based measurement tool that will help us understand and quantify the social, environmental and economic value of meeting centres in the Worcester Meeting Centres of Support programme of creating and or destroying. This is also referred to as social value. Despite effects of the pandemic, the meeting centre support programme movement has remarkable momentum and our vision of a meeting centre in every town could be realised. This research is timely to highlight and market the county-wide approach to implementation, while also providing evidence that can develop research agenda and the support that the Meeting Centre Support Programme offers people. If you would like to hear some more on this, check out next month's post, where I talk in detail about social value and how the approach fits with the research context. Ta. Thank you for listening. Join the Dementia Research bloggers and share your own views.